Whoa, what is up, my gang? What is up, you guys? Your boy is back with another video. You know what I'm saying? And your girl Jasmine is here too. Mm. Now. <laughs> so we're doing a little, little small reaction video today. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to watch a little video. I think it's a Q&A of Brian Shaw and his wife. It's supposed to be hilarious. I wanted to watch that and see. To give insight of what strong men do in their life. You know? Get me. Get my. Uh, I don't know. How could you say that? Get my, get my. You, you get him to do. You wait do. You, you want, you want. You back up. You know what motivation. I'm saying. Motivation. Get my motivation back up. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> Just getting the reaction, man. We about to watch. It's supposed to be a, a hilarious Q and A with him and his wife. So, hey, let's get into it. All right. All right, guys. And this is the strongest man in the world. It's crazy. The dude is huge, massive. If I was six eight with that type of, I don't know what I would do with that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't All know right. what the hell I would do. What would you do? Be know. yourself. All right, let's I get would to destroy it. It's, it's a, shit just you to do it. A Q and A now. All right, all right, guys. Right. Yep. Mm -hmm. Recording. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get it. Oh, and for the future, you're gonna see us pulling cars and doing all that type of workout too. So stay tuned. Stay tuned, back. man. We getting, you know, I'm building my gym a little bit at a time. Let's go. Sex. Great. Yes, um, you know, I, I think a lot of times people ask me, you know, what are the plans after a strong man or after I'm done, am I going to, you know, get leaner and, and that type of thing. I would say that I probably will at that point, but right now, what you all have to understand is I'm training to be the strongest I possibly can be, and therefore, um, I'm working on having the perfect body for being as strong as I can. So, it's not uh, a top priority. You know, I, I like I like being big and strong, right? And so if, if that's my goal, then that's what I'm going to go after. So it's, it's very different, and I think that, that sometimes people get that in their lips and stuff. How did you propose to your wife? Well, that is actually a fairly interesting story, because at the time, Terry and I were living in different states, so I had to coordinate everything to do the proposal when I went to visit her. So. Uh, number one, I had to make sure I was in town, make sure I could pick My it up. My shit would be corny as hell. And then I had to plan the whole proposal. Would be so like, what kind of, I had to research about what way? the heck I could do in a place that I didn't know that well. So I ended up finding uh, like this horse drawn carriage ride to a bridge. and um, it, was, it was romantic, it was good. It was Christmas time, the bridge was lit up with light. Yeah, he was gonna be there. I felt like I could get a job. Compared to her, it was, it was like, flat. Jesus Christ. But we walked out onto the bridge, and I didn't realize that there were holes in the bridge down to the river below. And with a grin, I, I, I started to panic a little bit, but went forward with the proposal. I get done on one knee, and then Terry says to me, there's a hole in the bridge. Basically, she sees that the ring is coming and, and is like, you better not drop my ring <laughs> into the river in more or less words. Well, uh, I have the ring. Yeah, and it, so it worked out. It ended up working out. I didn't drop the ring, but I said to myself kind of uh, in my head, if it fell into the river, it was enough money that I would have dove into the river probably to go get it. <laughs> but I didn't have to do that. She said yes, it worked out. Um, Got engaged, got married, so uh, yeah, the story ended well, um, but very, very nerve wracking time as I, I'm sure a lot of the guys out there can relate to when you're doing the proposal because it has to be right. Whose ass is larger in size? <laughs> Yours? <laughs> Yours. <laughs> I feel like I definitely win the size of battle. What kind of question is this? Carrie uh, wins the attractiveness battle, I would hope. 
Well, for me, yours is more attractive. Well, that's a good thing. Yeah, yeah. My, for for my, me, yours is. There we go. Yeah. yeah. But that's, yours that's, is bigger. I'll, I'll, I'll take that. Yours is bigger. <laughs> yeah, bigger for yeah. sure. But I weigh three times as much, so. Yeah. Let's hope. Yeah. What is your typical day like now that you have children? How do you and your wife split time to take care of them and train? Do you ever lose motivation with so much going on in your life? A bit now. Well, I. I Not eager. Um, well, yeah. That's rough. Even plus when you have like when you don't have stuff going for yourself. Yeah, it's like, too. How we just start YouTube and stuff. And I got I got to work these jobs. It's rough. Sometimes you lose your motivation. Sometimes yeah. you just like don't want to do anything, but you just, like you gotta keep pushing because you want something. Like you want to achieve something so bad, like goals and stuff. You have these goals you want to achieve, and then. Sometimes yeah, kids gotta get homework and eat and it's a lot, you know? I'm pretty sure it's a little much easier for them. Since they have their own Businesses, business structure going, yeah. you know. That's what I'm trying to get to that point. So I ain't gotta work for nobody, I work for myself, independent. Cause I'm an entrepreneur. Getting my workouts on. I wish to work out with this guy one day. Yeah. I wanna go through one of these workouts. It's crazy. Can't wait. Thinking I think that we try to balance life. I, I think it, it's all about balance. I will work out with this guy. For example, I train at night. Uh, Carrie trains in the morning. Um, I certainly, yeah. for me at least, I don't lose motivation at all. If anything, um, I'm more motivated, I think, because of my family and because of Carrie, because I know that she works so hard. So it's something that, that inspires me on a daily basis and, and uh, pushes me to work harder. Yes, we're very busy. But I think that having that family balance is very important. And True. I think that, uh, um, it's something that, that can be a good thing instead of a negative thing. Yeah. yeah, for sure. I think actually, like you said, it motivates me more. Um, our gym time is kind of our non-family, non-parent time. I train somewhere 4 or 5 a.m. Then Brian doesn't train until 7, 8 p.m. Um, but that's kind of our... Go and have fun time. Alone, alone time. <laughs> alone time, if yeah, you will. Yeah. But um, we just balance it, and yeah, for sure. I, he motivates me, and I like to think that I motivate you too to, yeah. to keep pushing. Definitely. That's a strong team, team boy. Right but now. I think Brian is sexy. Time to get up. No homo. No homo, <laughs> I totally agree. <laughs> what is the most important thing in your relationship? Family. I would say for me, trust. 100%. And, and I think that it's, it's something, you know, for us, for example, because I have to travel so much for work, um, if we didn't have trust in our relationship, it 100% would not work. Sure. So I think that even a normal relationship, you have to have trust yeah. for us. Yeah. Um, it's kind of on another level. Right. We're apart a lot. Brian's traveling the world. I'm home with the kids and, you know, home alone with kids and... Yeah. <laughs> so trust. I would say trust is kind of our number one thing. Absolutely. So we got an interesting question from my friend Robert Oberst. <laughs> and he says, What is it like living with a fat guy that smells? I'm asking <laughs> oh. for a friend. Lee no, he he asking for himself. <laughs> he just <laughs> he asking for himself. That's messed you up. You making a dude. joke, you making a joke. He said I smell amazing. And I've smelled you before. Let me, hold on, Paul, Paul. Dog. Big, all big guys don't stink, no. I hope that ain't no stigma or something like that. Like, it be having some big dudes, no homo. It be having some big dudes smelling real good, bro. Like, they really be taking care of yourself. They really be having, like, corn and all that shit on. Like, they be smelling good, bro. So, hey. So, all, I mean, I can understand your big dude, you work out a lot. Of course, you're gonna be like a sweaty smell for most of the part of the time when you're working out. I mean, I don't, I don't know. Hmm? No. I don't think it'll be that stain. God. I feel like your girlfriend might be the best person to answer that question. This person says, my wife is nine weeks pregnant and she's very active, or was very active before pregnancy. She wants to work out, but we have no idea what she can and can't do. What's a good rule of thumb when working out while pregnant? So, I worked out through both pregnancies with Braxton and Kellen, and I would say, uh, for me, my rule of thumb, two major things, and before I state this, make sure she just talks with her doctor about it, but um, 
First thing is I eliminated all core work, uh, abs, crunches, uh, I do kipping pull-ups, uh, I eliminated doing those. Another thing is I kept with the rule of thumb that I wanted to be able to complete a sentence, be able to carry on conversation while I was working out. I just didn't want to push too much or exert myself too much uh, where I was questioning if I was hurting the baby. And I'm not saying that everyone has to do that, but for me and my comfortable comfortableness with that, I just wanted to make sure I could say a sentence or have a conversation with someone just to make sure I was not going too hard. Yeah, I think I think uh, you're working out during the pregnancy. I know for me, I noticed that it made you happier. 100%. And I feel yeah. like I feel like there's a lot of women out there that get pregnant and they immediately say, "Oh, I can't do anything. I just have to sit on the couch and not move." And look she got so scared. At the beginning, I guess I did. She didn't want to do anything. Because, of course, it was my first and stuff. But all of them. Well, yeah, all three. I, I had three. Like, you could have just still worked out. But, you know. She got so scared and just stopped working out. Like, it, it's, it's okay. Crazy. Now I know it's okay. As long as I don't overdo, overdo it, you know. And I'll be like, <laughs> killing myself. So, now I know. I mean, you worked up, uh, worked out with uh, our, our first son, Braxton, literally the day that we went to, to go induce uh, labor, Terry was Terry was training, and I remember that specific Dude, day, hold up. Out the whole day. That's crazy, bro. Think about this shit. She worked out the day, the same day she had labor? What if I asked for the car to cramp in her leg? Not, not, <laughs> no, not no beds. <laughs> that would that shit would have hurt it. <laughs> so bad. Somebody cock your leg up. Nope. It depends. What if she had a, a um, I don't know what she Dude, like that shit, really, that shit would be crazy. Like, what if you, what if that was you? Like, I'll be you worked out, then gave birth like a couple hours after that. And I'll be in so much pain. And you just all of a sudden catch a cramp because you know they push your leg up. That would be funny too, though. <laughs> <laughs> it would be funny. She had to get her workout in, and then we got to go out dinner and go, and it was. Um, very relaxed, but uh, you literally trained through the entire thing, and I think yeah, absolutely. I think that it probably made uh, your recovery better as well. I mean, I guess it would be hard. I would say delivery and recovery, 100%. Uh, staying as active as possible, I would highly recommend. Everyone's different. Uh, if you have morning sickness or not, and how your body reacts, and every everyone's different. So I don't think there's. 100% one rule of thumb for everyone, but for me, being as active as possible was key in my happiness, which is your happiness. Sure. <laughs> and, yeah. and, yeah. and then uh, the delivery and the recovery, especially with with Kellen, the second one, I was I was ready to go the next day. I mean, without the baby, I wouldn't have even known I had delivered a baby. I just yeah. felt that good. So. Yeah, move as much as possible, but be smart about it. 100%. This person asks, what is your favorite cheat meal? Mm -hmm. What's your Ice cream, hands down. <laughs> Mine is pizza and I'm cheesecake. It. So we have ice cream, pizza, and cheesecake. It's <laughs> the same <laughs> exact thing we like. Yeah. <laughs> Brian, the family is awesome and you I like ice cream. With your wife. Well, thank you very much. A very important question. Is it okay to approach someone in the gym who trains really hard, be it a girl or a guy. I say absolutely. If you are there and you're serious and training hard and you're interested in someone that's the same serious training hard, I would just put yourself in their shoes or vice versa and just think, hey, I wouldn't want to be interrupted mid-set or I don't have to pull my earphones out if I'm going for a max deadlift or something like that. So just put yourself in their shoes, think, hey, when would be a good time for someone to approach me? Do the same thing to them. Maybe catch them on the way in, the way out. Mm -hmm. Just try to make general conversation. Maybe a respectful compliment. Um, but I think it's completely fine. Yeah, for sure. Is your bicep bigger than her leg? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm going to go with yes. I think so too. This person asked, how bad does the bathroom smell <laughs> that takes the Browns to the Super Bowl? <laughs> They wrong for that. <laughs> she might drop loose though. What is your favorite type of 
Well, it's Charlie. Now, I have messed that up before at the store, so I don't buy the toilet paper anymore. I let Carrie handle that because she is very specific about the top type of toilet paper we have in the house. And it's Charlie. <laughs> yeah, you can't use any kind. Stuck on these buttons. Yeah, you will have some oh, bad uh, mishaps with it because when you try to write some time, it breaks. I'm gonna start using more and more baby wipes. Yeah, but change flush them. Use the flushable ones. I told you that. Yeah, true. But hey, you gotta wash them paper towel, paper toilet, toilet papers, man. <laughs> they suck. When you try to guide your little guys <clears throat> into athletics, I would say yes. Uh, not necessarily strong man in particular, but any sport that they're interested in, we're going to encourage them to try out. Just something that they're passionate about yeah. and teaches them character like long lessons. Absolutely. I think sports are huge uh, for younger people. What's your favorite shoe? I'm from fire. Their own boy thing messed up. No. Yeah, they volume was gone. But they're talking about if you just sneak sneakers it, and we missed but, it. Bang! It's a line cut off. I don't know. I wonder what his favorite sneaker was. Me too. I really want to know. Hey, if you're watching this video, who's reacting to your channel, comment down below on our channel what your favorite sneaker was because we really want to know. Maybe it's the same as us. Hey guys. Hope y'all enjoyed that little reaction to Brian Sean and his wife Q and A. But we couldn't watch the like the last interview because the volume cut off. But, but like I say, it's kind of always funny, you know. Mr. Brian and Carrie, comment down below what your favorite shoe is. Kind of weird how some of the questions were weird. <laughs> yeah, some of the questions were weird. Mm. But it was a good it it's a good get to know them. I kind of I'm thinking I'm gonna be watching them a lot more now. So. Yeah. Well, stay tuned. You know, this is, like I said, this is my fitness channel. I'm about to open it up to being the family fitness channel because I guess the whole family will be involved in working out. So stay tuned for that. I'm about to just flip it up. I'm about to get it. Home gym coming soon. Can't wait. So excited. Me too. So, peace.